Well, earlier we saw Kristen Oaks tell us about the story of one Louisiana cotton farmer and this harvest season so far. Joining us for how the cotton industry is doing as a whole is Neil Malasson for this week's Bottom Line. And those record prices we were talking about, Neil, how is that going to affect farmers and consumers? Well, Avery, I think the short answer to that is prices are going to go up. It's a little more complex than that, of course, and in order to fully understand why, we have to remember that just a year ago, prices were half of what they are now and had been in the tank a long time. Kristen said earlier that prices were at a historic high, and they're certainly higher than I've seen in the last 15 years at least. In fact, not since 1995 have prices been this high, and it was a spike that saw cotton hit almost $1.17. However, not before or since then have cotton prices hit a dollar, and you can see that at least since the start of last year, we were less than half of what we are today. Of course, many cotton farmers this year have sold most, if not all, of their cotton, except for a few bales at prices around 80 or 90 cents, which is still pretty good. On the other side, consumers are getting hit hard and fast by higher prices for textile goods like t-shirts for instance because part of this ramp up in prices comes from the places that manufacture the cotton goods we consume. China has had a drought that continues to drop their production forecasts and now they're actually worrying about freezes there as well. Meanwhile the Indian government is being lobbied hard by their ginners and textile manufacturers to slow or stop cotton exports to keep their overhead low. That translates into immediately higher prices for our cotton goods here in the U.S. Some experts even see cotton driving to prices as high as a dollar and a quarter per pound. Naturally, this might make you think that we'll see a big return of cotton next year in Louisiana, but there's a few things to keep in mind. One is that we've lost a lot of infrastructure for cotton that will be difficult to bring back. Second, as you heard from David, we're seeing strong prices for grains in the foreseeable future, which will likely mean fierce competition for acres among the commodities this spring. So while I think we will see more cotton planted next year, Avery. It's still a long way from being the king crop it once was. And just last year, we had the lowest acres since Reconstruction here in Louisiana. Thanks a lot, Neil Malasol. And remember, you can listen to Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Radio Network by clicking over to our website, twilatv.org. There you'll also find a list of stations where you can listen. Just look for the link on the right side of the homepage called LFB Radio Network. Well, that does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Be sure to join us next week when we'll show you why a, a viable crop insurance program for sweet potatoes is so important for Louisiana growers. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online. Click over to our website, twilatv.org. For all of us here on the Twila team, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you right here again next week.